in John 15, 26, Yeshua says, When the Helper, whom I will send to you from the Father comes, the Spirit of Truth, whom the Father uh, sends, he will bear witness concerning me. So in 1426, um, Jesus, speaking to his disciples, speaks of this Helper. And this is where we get the, the word um, parakletos that we looked at earlier in the commentary, which most people know is rooted in the Greek word paraclete. This is just simply the... the, the um, the, the, the form that shows up here in the Greek. This um, parakletos is a noun, so it's a nominative, remember, nominative versus accusative. Nominative is the noun, the subject, the accusative would be the object. It's This is a nominative, it's a noun, and it's in the masculine singular. So the this is the subject, because it's the nominative, and this is what Yeshua's talking about, this helper whom I will send you, this paraclete, um, I will send to you from the Father, right? He he will bear witness concerning me. Now we drop down to very bottom of the verse. It says, Ekinos, he. This is a demonstrative pronoun, and it's a nominative, so it's the subject, but it's a masculine singular again. And why is it masculine? Remember, it's that case ending at the very end, the Ekinos, the OS. Why is it in the masculine? In other words, he, because the subject up here, it's linked to the helper. He, yeah, I mean, they're, they're both nominatives, but this demonstrative pronoun, um, which, remember, when we say demonstrative, we could say that, if we wanted to, that thing, uh, demonstrative, uh, we could say that will bear witness concerning me, but we, we really have license to say he for two reasons. One, it's a nominative case ending, the OS which is linking to the OS here in um, Parakletos. But secondly, because the um, uh, this uh, uh, he here is in the masculine, not just because of the Greek, but the second reason is because it's pointing back to the subject, which is uh, the helper here. So notice, as I'm closing, I'm just giving you this teacher. Notice um, in that same verse, John 15, 26, the Jehovah's Witness version, they also, if I'm correct here, I'm sorry. They, in in contrast, they, they're gonna they're gonna agree with the traditional Christian version in one passage, but in this case, they say, "When the Helper comes, that I will send you." Remember, the Helper is the, the, the Parakletos. When the Helper comes, that I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, which comes from the Father. That one. Notice they say that one will bear witness about me. They don't say he. They say that one, and they say that because. Here's their explanation over here on the right. That one, the Greek demonstrative pronoun, um, ekinos, is in the masculine gender, but it refers to the helper, which is also in the masculine gender. But the reason they say that one instead of saying he is because the um, demonstrative pronoun is typically understood by English as uh, that instead of a personal pronoun like he or, or possessive pronoun like um, she or he or we or something like that. A demonstrative pronoun is kind of removed from the person sometimes. So it's like that or this or kind of feels like um, distant, you know, impersonal. So they opt for the, and there's they're, they're someone within their bounds to do that by translating it as that one as opposed to the uh, the traditional translations that say he. Same Greek word, ekenos. But in the closing, this is just a teaser for two weeks from now. We're going to find out that um, there is every reason for us to translate some of these personal pronouns that we read in the Greek as um, uh, masculine because of the way the case endings are being presented to us. And so it forms the better theology for us to um, agree with the fact that the personal pronoun is agreeing with the antecedent. And if the antecedent is neuter like spirit, well then, yeah, we could say it. But because we have other passages that refer to um, the spirit of the Father and the Father is in a masculine or something like, like that, or the Lord or Yeshua, um, it'd be better to translate those pronouns, even though they're demonstrative, it'd be better pro uh, to translate them with he. I mean, no one's translating them as she, right? Out hey. So, uh, so that'll do it for tonight's um, Shema study. Sorry that it was so confusing. A uh, little more technical than I normally uh, provide. Next week, we will 
talk about Hanukkah, so we're not going to be talking about the spirit. But two weeks after, or two weeks from now, which is a week after Hanukkah, we will pick up our study. We'll open all of these tabs again, and we'll just briefly jump through um, uh, this uh, Greek lesson here, and then we'll we'll just remind you what we talked about in John, and then what we're going to look at just a, a, a preview. We're going to be looking at the other passages in John, which are uh, parallel to what uh, Yeshua is talking about in John 14, John 15, and John 16. We'll just keep going through those and see how that this paraclete, this helper, this one that Yeshua is sending, it's that we have every right to think of him as a he, not just as an it. And then perhaps maybe a, three weeks from now, we'll conclude our study with this um, st- uh, quote from another study on the Holy Spirit. And finally, uh, a quote from Romans chapter 8. So that's where we'll end. Okay, but for now, let's close in prayer. <laughs> 